Hi, I'm Josh, AJ9BM, and I wanted to share a project I've been working on with everybody. Um, this is an Elenco DXSR8 HF transceiver. It's a, it's a cheap and cheerful radio, um, pretty decent for the price, but it's very bare bones. Um, I use this to do digital modes primarily, where I hook the computer up to the radio and send data out as audio. Um, because this thing is so bare bones, there's not a single place I can plug the computer in and get all of these connections. So I had to make a little custom box that connects to the 8-pin connector, the speaker connector, or the headphone connector to get audio out and get audio in and so on. And that works for all of the things I need to do to transmit, but it doesn't let me affect the tuning or squelch or anything like that. So I was looking uh, at the schematic to think about this a little bit, and uh, found something interesting. Um, one of the, the great features about this radio, despite it being so cheap, is that the front panel is actually detachable. So this is, this is just the front panel. The uh, radio itself is actually down in my basement. Um, so the detachable part runs data out through standard Cat5 that's terminated with a standard RJ45. This is really nice whenever you're trying to hack on something. So I looked at the schematic and found that on that cable there's 8 volts, ground, speaker, speaker ground, microphone, clone, and then two pins RX and TX. And those are really interesting because they go straight into a little microcontroller inside of the unit. So borrowed a logic analyzer from a friend and, and uh, made a little cable to pull those pins out and found that it's 38400 serial. Um, it's your standard RS-232 at TTL levels. Um, 38400 8N1. So I got out a couple of my TTL serial adapters and uh, plugged in on either side so that I can intercept the messages going back and forth between the two. And what you're seeing on the screen here is the result of that. So if you look, currently tuned to 1909810, and here it is. Auto gain control is fast, and the RF is plus 10, currently squelched. The key light is on, and the star light is on. Not, not everything that's decoded is displayed right now. But as we tune around, you can see that things are getting updated there as we move up and down the bands. So um, that part is working. And you'll notice, too, that whenever I push keys down here, you can see the key press events. And uh, even, though, <laughs> even though we're locked, so the scroll wheel doesn't actually affect anything, it does send the events over for that anyway. And then the, this other thing here is the different levels for these knobs. So we can actually intercept everything going between the front end and the radio down in the basement. Um, and the other thing we can do is uh, go ahead and inject button presses so that we can control the radio directly. So what we're going to do here is tune over to 14076, um, the JT65 frequency on 20 meters. So run that command and bam, there we are on 14076, uh, ready to do JT65. Um, so that's where this is at for now. Um, the other interesting thing is that RJ45 also contains mic and speaker. Um, so it's possible to make one cable that we plug in that has all of the connections to do data, both the audio and the control signals. So if you have a DX SR8 as well and are interested in this or are just interested in this in general, um, I'm going to be posting my code to GitHub soon. The URL for that will be down in the description of this video. And hopefully I'll be making something a little bit more slick to work with for this in the near future. Anyway, thanks for putting uh, up with this video. I hope you liked it. Um, I hope it's interesting and maybe a bit inspiring for folks who are thinking about hacking something else of their own. Um, uh, so thank you again for watching. 73, AJ9, BM.